All right, fired up over a continuing lockdown right now, Arizona, the latest to experience protests. These in Phoenix right now, where they, well, they look a lot closer than six feet together, don't they? Now, the protesters are saying enough is enough. People want to go back to work. They can. What happens in, in, in these protests, as it happened in Minneapolis, happened in Michigan, happened in Virginia, happened in North Carolina, uh, that, that sometimes they, they miss their own mission here by by doing the kind of things that prevent danger or health hazards themselves. That is congregating too close together. Trace Gallagher has been following this and so many other protests. Trace. Yeah, let's begin with uh, Pennsylvania. You just saw Phoenix. Pennsylvania had the biggest protest, Neil, and the most compelling pictures. This is Harrisburg. We're going to show you the capital where a few thousand ralliers showed up to protest the shutdown, demanding that Governor Tom Wolf reopen the economy. And again, as you say, very little social distancing there. And while the protesters are making their case outside, both chambers of Pennsylvania's GOP controlled legislature are planning to come back in session in an effort to limit Governor Wolf's power to maintain the shutdown. But as all this comes, the governor is targeting May 8th as the date for a limited reopening. We're talking about things like construction, retail shops, online car sales. Let's go back now to Arizona because there were also some different types of rallies. A lot of people stayed inside their cars uh, calling for the governor to reopen the economy. They were practicing a little bit of social distancing. Uh, the protests around the country were organized in Phoenix and Pennsylvania on Facebook like much of the other parts of the of the country. And here are a few opinions from Phoenix. Watch. This whole thing was a mistake from the beginning to shut down America. We didn't know at the time. It was probably a good decision at the time, but now it's clear it was a mistake. I think there could be a staged opening, you know, but we need to get make sure that the health and welfare of Arizona citizens isn't jeopardized first. Yeah, we should point out that Arizona Governor Doug Ducey has targeted a May 1st opening, but he has given very few details in that. It's also worth pointing out Alaska, Montana, and Colorado are planning to open this week. Kind of limited opening. California has no target date yet, Neil, and it's going to be 85 degrees here this weekend. Wondering how the beach closers are going to play across the state. Interesting. Neil. Do a lot of these folks feel emboldened by the president who says that's their right, you know, and liberate, you know, one city, one state after another, that, that he's actually got their back? They do. I mean, you talk to these people and they believe that, you know, this is their right to be able to go out and say enough is enough. And a lot of this really came, Neil, because people are willing to play by the rules. You talk to protester after protester and they're willing to play by the rules to a certain extent. But when they believe there is overreach, as in the case of Michigan and the governor Gretchen Whitmer there, when they can't buy gardening tools and plants and so forth, that's when the frustration level starts to build. And that's when you see these kind of protests protests bubble up on Facebook and they, they start to engender a great deal of support. So so we find that people are willing to play by the rules and social distance. They know it's the right thing to do. But when they believe that overreach is happening and governors are not listening to their demands to reopen the economy, that's when you have this bubble up across the country. Neil. All right. Thank you, my friend. Great reporting as always. Trace yep. Gallagher, the